Hi there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this year's vision board making video. Every year, this is my absolute favorite video to film. I look forward to it and I just love coming up with goals and things that I'm looking forward to manifesting in the year to come. If you're a stranger to this channel, I do this every year, so if you like vision board videos, please feel free to check out my past ones. I've been doing this for a long time and I don't know if you are also feeling this way, but I just feel like Something about 2024 is magical and I'm really excited to see how everything unfolds. But before we get to that, we have to make our board. So I have all of my pictures here. There are a lot of them this year. I have about double the pictures that I had last year and I haven't even looked through all of these yet. Um, but I have these, I have my little cutting board, scissors, glue, I have my poster board. So let's go ahead, jump into it and create our 2024 vision boards. First things first, with any vision board creating, you're going to want to start by sourcing some photos. I personally like to use Pinterest for this. I'll create a board and then download all of the individual images and then get them printed off somewhere like Walmart or CVS. Anywhere you can print off photos will work just fine for this. So like I mentioned, we have a lot of pictures this year. and. If you've been here in years past, you know that I kind of like to lay down a collage, rough draft, if you will, before I actually glue anything down. Some of these I also have to cut, like this one, for example. Um, we're really going primarily for a vibe this year. I'm leaning into like an ethereal, rich, kind of aesthetic. I don't know how to describe it. You'll see it when we pull everything together, but I'm also heavily leaning into color this year and I'm really feeling the browns and tans and creams and things like that. So let's go ahead and just lay down a little bit of a rough draft and get everything cut out that I need to cut out. We are going for dimension with this board. So I cut the pictures that I needed to cut just for varying sizes. And now we are going to start creating our actual draft before gluing, just to get a placement for everything and a feel for where it should go. Kind of how this is gonna work. I have every year a theme for the year and then the year itself. I'm just gonna stack these. The theme or quote of this year is infinite possibility. That's just something, that's a phrase that was really resonating with me and something I want to take into the new year. So those are definitely gonna be front and center. We have our actual like photoshopped. These are things that I really want to manifest this year. So as you see, my YouTube channel with 10,000 subscribers, and again, just for extra potency. I won't go through all of these because they are personal, but we have those. Then we have what I call our vibe cards, and that's just a bunch of like vibey pictures. It could be colors that I liked, or these pictures signify something to me in some way, and so I wanna scatter those throughout. So we have a bunch of those, a lot of clouds, a lot of like cocktails and just looks things this year. We have our mini vibe cards, which are the ones you just saw me cut out with the cutting board. Again, these signify things to me. They may not make sense to any of you. That's okay. This is what we're working with. I wanted varying sizes, which is why I made some of these smaller so that we can hopefully have room for everything. And you know, these are just, I love these. And finally, in an effort to not waste space on our mini vibe card prints, if there was leftover room on the five by seven, I just did some fun like pattern type things that I thought we could layer with our actual cards. So something like this, just to make it pop that extra little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create our rough draft after we've gone through what we're working with here. I'm hoping you guys get a feel for like the color story and whatnot that I was thinking up for this year. Um, I'm really excited about these. These prints feel magical. So let's, let's get the lay of the land and come up with a rough draft. 
This part always takes the longest and I encourage you guys to really take your time with it because it is super important, but creating the rough draft for your board is like playing a game of Tetris and also putting together a puzzle. Like you want important elements to pop, but you only have so much space and so it does take a little bit of time and planning, but have fun with it. I like to do this while I'm listening to music or, you know, whatever, but important step. Don't skip it. Here is our rough draft. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I absolutely love this. Wow. Let's glue it down. I'm, uh, wow. This is gorgeous. This may be my favorite board we've ever done. Let's glue it. And finally, we get to the part that you've all been waiting for actually piecing together our board, gluing down our photos, infusing it with that extra bit of magical intention. And, you know, at this point in the video, I just really want to say thank you for being here. This has been an incredibly magical year, and I know that 2024 is going to be even more magical. And just looking back on some of my previous vision board making videos, you know, in preparation for creating this one, it's so amazing to see how far we've come at just, you know, in life, but also on YouTube. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you for being here. You guys and this channel mean so much to me. And I was thinking of you the entire time that I was piecing this together. So I can't wait to see what's in store for us for the year to come. So we're done. I have to say, this is beyond a shadow of a doubt, my favorite vision board I have ever made. This is just, I'm like overwhelmed with one, how beautiful this is, but also how magical it feels. Like I can truly, I know this sounds cheesy and corny, but I can feel the intention from this. It's just, oh my God, I love it. So. Let's take a look. I do hope you're able to see this entire thing, but here is our 2024 vision board. As you can see, kind of like a brown, tan, blue sort of theme going on. Those are really the colors I'm feeling for this upcoming year. And as you can tell, the whole board is more of like a, a vibe and aesthetic type board instead of super specifics. We obviously do have some specifics on here, like my 10,000 subscribers here and here, an income goal. Um, I would like to get my first brand deal this year. Business is booming, breaking free regarding finances. But other than that, really the rest of it is just a vibe. <laughs> I know that's not the most intelligent way of describing it, but I, I have a feeling you'll be able to pick up on this through the video. This is just such a potent board and you can see in multiple places here, I have magical elements here as well. Um, I have a couple mermaids. I've really been interested in the concept of sirening this year. Um, so that's something I wanna carry with me into next year. We have lightning and clouds and natural elements all over the board here and so, I really feel like this one explains itself or it speaks for itself. I just am in love with this board. I also thought it would be kind of fun to compare it with last year's board, which I have right here. As you can see for 2023, one, there were a lot less pictures. Uh, this board is a lot less full compared to the 2024 board. This is definitely what I'm going with from now on. I love the fuller aspect of it. It feels so much more powerful. I can't really say that we hit any of the specifics necessarily. However, this was still a really good board and I loved, again, the vibe of this board. You can tell this was more of a pink and red sultry kind of year, whereas the upcoming one is just this, it feels luxe to me and rich and it's just gorgeous. And I'm really excited to be bringing this energy into 2024. So that is my 2024 vision board.